it's just to work with wood in general. I mean, it's 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 such a a nice soothing material to work with every day. My name is Stacy Kent. I'm 28 years old and I come from Melbourne, Australia. I've come to Berlin um, after traveling in Europe for six months and I sort of just ended up here and kept staying and staying longer and eventually fell in love with the city and now it's been seven years and yeah, I, I never really decided to stay at one point but I've ended up here and love it. I studied uh, a Bachelor of Business and uh, I studied film at film college, uh, but I am a self-taught carpenter or woodworker. It's sort of a mix of, um, you know, wanting to have my own business as well as uh, loving to work with wood because it's such an amazing material and uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's, a, it's just a, simply a, a, a good thing to do every day. So there's two things that basically get me out of, out of the bed in the morning, and that's uh, the work we're trying to do with uh, sustainability and running our sustainable business. Um, and that's by using uh, reclaimed materials such as wood. And uh, yeah, secondly, it's just to work with wood in general. I mean, it's, it's, it's such a, a nice, soothing material to work with every day. Um, and yeah, that, that's basically my passion. Kent Holtz basically uh, is called Kent Holtz because Kent is my last name and Holtz is wood in German. And we thought of this name because um, Kent is, you know, knowing in German and so it's sort of a bit of a, a joke saying knows wood, or the knowledge of wood or something. Um, and we basically build, tables are our primary product, uh, but we also build benches, coffee tables, shelves, and we do some custom jobs as well. I love my products because um, each, each piece we produce is completely unique. We don't do anything that looks exactly the same. Every piece of wood is different. Uh, they all have different marks and knots, and that's you know we, we never really get bored of looking at our tabletops. That's the, the most important thing, and we get excited every day when we see a new pattern or a new combination of wood boards together. It's just such a great thing to do, and we're always exploring those sort of avenues. We use both uh, reclaimed oak and pine boards. Um, the reclaimed pine is old scaffolding boards and this is no longer s suitable for uh, use on the construction site. And so we take this wood and we clean it, we repair it, we dry it and we form it into something um, completely different than it, than it has been sitting on the street. And this is really good because it turns into this a to a totally new product and gets a, a completely new life. And the reclaimed oak that we use comes from old ski villages and ski huts in Austria. And this is an amazing material that can be between 100 to 500 years old. When we started, we didn't have that much money. Um, so we, we used to collect a lot of wood that was in the rubbish uh, dumpsters and around this Berlin and, and make tables and make products out of this and it was a lot of fun when we started. Uh, and this is literally trash, you know. This is literally things which were in the bin and we were able to re-ignite um, them into something else and that's, that's such an amazing thing to go from this to the end product in someone's home where they're using this table. That's such an, it's like an amazing feeling actually. We do everything by hand here. Um, we receive the boards uh, by, you know, we get five or six cubic meters at a time, which is a lot of boards, and we don't have a forklift, so we lift them all in by hand, and we have to sort them all because some of them are not uh, completely dry, so we have to dry them in our, in our own dry room here. And then we have to go through and um, 
pick out the ones that are usable for our tables because they're not all, some of them are completely rotted through with water. Um, and so we, we get the dust off with a burstal machine, basically, and uh, brush all the excess dirt so we can process it through our machines. And uh, then the second step is to uh, plane the wood, that's to make it completely flat, so the tables are nice and flat when we put the legs on. Um, then it's about joining the boards with um, dominoes and glue. Uh, once that's done, we clamp that up and let that dry for a little bit. Then we put epoxy resin and all the cracks to make sure that all the cracks don't grow and, um, because in the old wood, the cracks are quite large and big. Then we use uh, Holzpaste or, or wood paste to uh, go through the, the extra, extra cracks so there's absolutely no place for water to get through. Then sanding, 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 which takes a long, long time, up to 180 grit. And uh, depending on the type of table, we might need to further modify it. But then we go through and oil the table with uh, hard wax oil, which is really nice oil. It's child safe and sustainably made. So it's uh, that's basically the process. It takes can take up to three or four weeks to build one table. Wood is such a soothing material to work with every day. I mean, in the end, wood comes from trees, and trees give us oxygen. So there's something between this connection between humans being able to breathe from this material and, and when we touch it, we, you can feel that in a way. There's something about the natural wood that just gives you a really warm feeling inside, like going home to your mother or something over Christmas and you know giving her a hug. It's sort of the same thing we get when we come in here and we, we really get to touch and, and and feel the wood with our hands, it's really a rewarding and soothing feeling. We are trying to use old wood and divert people away from buying tree, uh, buying tables from trees that have been freshly cut down. So we don't really believe at Kernholz that we need to cut down more uh, old trees to buy, build people uh, trees out of new tables. Like there's a, a enough reclaim wood lying around uh, that we can uh, divert that money into reusing this recycled material and so this is our main goal here is to reuse as much reclaimed timber and wood and materials as we possibly can um, to sort of both get that message out there and grow our business at the same time. I try and practice what I preach it doesn't always work out but uh, you know for me a high, high priced, high quality object um, that will last longer is important and, and more, it's more worthwhile to buy that than something that's going to break in the next year, you know. I, I don't believe in sort of, you know, I believe in buying one thing once uh, for the rest of its life rather than continually buying sort of shitty plastic products that will break. I mean, for me, I don't really have the need to buy a lot of wood products because we can pretty much make a lot of what I would need in my daily life here. We do uh, coasters for the glass to sit on often, and we send these with our products. This is a little just tiny gift for our customers. It's a coaster with our, our logo on it. Um, and we also uh, build chopping boards as well. We can also build wooden spoons. Now we have a lot of oak. Um, we, we do hard wooden spoons, and this is all kind of just fun around the workshop. We make it all by hand and with very little machine work. It's quite, it's quite a good thing. Uh, the last uh, product I bought that we haven't made here was a Kaza fan. Um, and that's an ergonomical uh, spinning fan that is just looking fantastic and gives us such a good feeling when we look up at the ceiling now. Also the blades are amazing, uh, amazingly shaped and out of such a thin and uh, light but strong looking wood. The air screw fan is, is really well designed. It's completely er ergonomic and 
spins at such an incredibly still motion with this DC motor that's installed in it. It, it saves 50% less energy than a normal fan and yeah, we're, we're really happy with the fan and, and especially the design, it just looks so good in our workshop and, and spins so nicely with that dark wood and actually provides us with refreshed air. The fan really kind of reminds us of our work as well it's, um, because it's also made completely of wood um, and you know they, they've got similar grains running through and the shape as well of the wood is, is very natural even though it's a processed blade it still has a kind of natural tree trunk shape so um, it really sort of resonates with us and, and the work we do to try and preserve the natural character of, of wood and, and the natural way it, it is in nature in a tree form. I think the design is, is modern, it's quite modern, um, but still has a really sort of classic fan feeling to it. Like it kind of reminds you of like one of these old fans you know, in sort of a, in like old German times or something like this, but but also not at the same time. You've, it's it's got a both classic and modern feel to it, which I think is is really appealing about the design. It, it just sort of you know makes the room a lot warmer in a sense. In a sense, so exactly what we're trying to do with our tables is sort of bring warmth into an a perhaps colder kind of apartment. Uh, style atmosphere and I think the fan does the same as well.